it's the Mighty Marvel Show. I'm Paul, and what's up, webheads? Yes, it's wall calling web slinger time because I've got what is possibly the greatest Marvel legend ever, and that is saying something because there's been a lot today. I am looking at the Symbiote Spider-Man from the Marvel Legends Retro Wave. Look at him. He is just stunning. Very cool box. The latest wave. You've got the Armored Spider-Man. You've got Hammerhead. You've got Hub Goblin. You've got the Ben Riley Spider-Man. And then you've got the Shocker. And this awesome dude as well. I don't even need to muck around now taking him out of the box. Because you've had a look at the box. Because because here's the figure. Because I bought two and that one's never getting unboxed. This is staying mint on card. This, however, has been played around with so much already, I've already made the leg a bit loose. I need to fix that. So, why do I think this is the greatest Marvel legend ever? Because this is the greatest comic book costume ever, in my own opinion. And it's just mine. And I'm sure you'll have your own opinions, but this is mine. That's what I think. So... This came about in 1984, Secret Wars comic, issue 8, when Spider-Man, after having his red and blue costume torn up in a big battle with the bad guys, went to the costume-making chamber where all the heroes were getting their costumes repaired. He didn't know it at the time, he went to the wrong machine, he thought he was repairing his costume, and it subconsciously turned into a version of the then Spider-Woman costume, this unbelievably awesome black costume which we later know became venom but this was so cool this is what a proper spider looks like look at the big giant spider on the front the white eyes the white on the back of the hand just to put the the square on the back where his web shooters then came out of it's amazing it's epic i'm going to take a much closer look at this now and you can see me do that and here whipping in for business is symbiote spider-man look at him he's just so cool so fun it's obviously the retro figure body we expected that so he's got good ab uh, crunch the good crunch there the good twist obviously the you know small complaint the spider doesn't twist with it but that was always going to be the way it's these hands it's these wall crawling hands that are just so perfect they are what make it the splayed fingers absolutely perfect for putting old spidey up against the wall there you go standing up against the wall wall crawling against the pillar they're perfect for that it comes with fists two fists and it comes with what was always standard as you'd expect the thwip thwip web spinning hands but it's these splayed hands that make it it poses great it's absolutely brilliant the, the leg on this one is a little bit loose actually i've got a box one as well so i'm going to do a little bit of work preparing this leg the figure's great obviously get all the extension in the feet and the toes as well there with the spider-man he looks fantastic now the one thing i would have maybe have liked extra and it would be could be the same of all the spider-man figures actually is the eyes i would have loved to have the reverse of the eyes so they're upturned with the points at the base and it's that whole oh crap type thing that you get from spidey in the comics when something goes wrong or when he's looking up or when there's a disaster because you really would have got the head up with that look on it and it just it's the one thing that gives that real expression to spidey we've seen it in the in the latest set of trilogy movies with tom holland where the eyes move which is very sort of ditko-esque drawing from the from the comics and you can get that emotion in the character behind that mask this would have been the one thing that you couldn't you could have where you could have the eyes turn a different way so you can get a different type of emotion for spidey particularly when he's fighting baddies and if you want to do some bad guy shots with him and he's fighting them and you can obviously see that anxiety as he gets attacked by the sinister six or whoever it might be that is really my only criticism this is just such a cool fun figure the back the costume is great it's so slick it poses like a dream I absolutely love this figure. That, my friends, is the cool and amazing Spider-Man. The symbiote Spider-Man. I love this figure so much. Back to me in the studio. Well, I've been having too much fun. Actually, you can't have too much fun. I've been having so much fun with this figure. 
been all over our Instagram, which is my Marvel Mix, and here's loads of shots that I've been playing around with it. I just couldn't stop. I've just done so much. A big shout out to my good friend Spartan X1, who you can go and follow over on Instagram as well, Spartan underscore X underscore one, who made me this awesome, cool webbing to go with the costume. It's great. But as you can see, I have had loads and loads and loads of fun with this character. And now it's just perfect to start setting them up with all the classic bad guys with my extensive Spider-Man Rogues Gallery. And that will be all over my Insta any day now. That, my friend, is what I think is, well, it's certainly one of the most fun. This dropped in 2021. However, it dropped really late in 2021 here in the UK. And I wasn't expecting it to. So that's why it didn't go into my 2021 Best Marvel Legends Awards. Which, if it did, my goodness, this would have been winning. So I'm counting it in 2022. Therefore, this is the front runner already for the best figure of 2022. Possibly one of the best ever. It's just spectacular see what i've done there it's amazing see what i've done there it's web being got that wrong didn't work but it's wicked honestly this is great if you like this you can look at all the other videos on this channel like subscribe tell me if you've got this figure if you like it stick it in the comments down below see you next time Thwip.